up? It's Chris Wicks here. Hey, listen, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some juices today. We're going to do a twofer. We'll talk a little bit about some Space Jam Venus and uh, some Doc Bailey's Elixir. Now, I don't know what you guys are doing um, as far as your juice if you're six or three. For me, I'm pretty much a three milligram Nick kind of guy. So having a bunch of six milligram juice, what do you do with it? Well, yesterday I went over to my local B&M to get my atomizers drilled out. Now, this is one of the tobes I got. I say tobe. Sorry, it's been a long day. It's one of those tugboats that I got. We'll start over. Tugboat. Not tobe. It's tugboat. Um, one of these tugboats that I got, I switched the cap up. I like getting two of the same thing, different color. You can play around with some of the designs. It's just kind of how I do things. Um, this particular one, I did have drilled out. Let me see if you can see it. I drilled out both sides. And uh, there's something about airflow. If you're getting a restrictive draw, or you're, you're not getting the vape that you want, if you have gear that you're using, just take it to your local shop. See if they can drill out the holes in your atomizer. I'm telling you, when you get max airflow, you're gonna really appreciate vaping that much better. I was fighting this a little bit. Every time I vape, it felt like the air was going around the coil and going around the chamber and just not going up the tube to me. And that's what I want. So I had it drilled out by the local BNM. You guys are awesome vapor solutions by Julie for taking care of me and drilling out. I actually had them drill out all seven of my Addies. So this weekend, thanks to them, I'll be able to do reviews of a full juice line, five juices, bam. So yeah, if you're not getting the right airflow or you order those Igo W's for three bucks like I told you, you're gonna have to drill them out. The holes are pin small. Nothing to do with code vape. It's just the way that the manufacturer makes them. So drill down. Sigeli. Just a nice even vape, right? Just a nice even vape. I'm getting a much better vape than the restricted vape I was getting before. Now that's me and that's different from you. Anyways, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm real all about customizing stuff for my needs, what works for me and what I like. Just remember, might not like work for you in what you use. Um, Let's talk about juices. Well, what do I got in here? We're vaping on some Venus in six milligram. Back to my local store, Vapor Solutions by Julie. They got a bunch of discount uh, juices. I ended up just picking up a bottle of uh, Doc Bailey's, actually. I've heard of Doc Bailey's. This is Doc Bailey's Elixir. It's in zero nick. Now, this has been pretty heavy steeping for almost like a year. So you're going to want to... Okay, here it is. You're going to want juice anywhere from zero to about three months with a born on date. Anything after that, three months to eight months, gets real heavy in the flavor. And then after eight months to a year, it's still vapable. It's gonna be heavy on the flavor. The Nick's gonna bring it out and everything, and um, it's gonna change the flavor, just be more intense. This juice, this Space Jam juice, is just a little bit, um, uh, September is when I've had it. So uh, we're looking at a couple months. It's been sitting there. I did shake it up today, but I have been dipping into it a little bit, and it's just been a little bit too strong with the Nick level. Now, the flavor. Let's talk about the flavor of Space Jam. Now, I got a lot of Space Jam love. You guys probably see my Space Jam tattoo of their old logo, and it just kind of represents to me my pinnacle point in vaping. Space Jam was one of the first juices I tried that actually was really consistent from bottle to bottle, and I found their flavors to be um, quite extraordinary. Now, the cool thing about Space Jam, if you get a bottle in Wisconsin and get a bottle in Oregon or California, you're going to pretty much taste the same. Space Jam is very consistent batch to batch. In fact, Space Jam has some juices that are a little bit higher in Nick. Um, it's a six milligram, but for me, it's vaping like an eight milligram. I mean, they do make sure that it is a true six milligram. So a lot of companies will estimate and some, some bottles will be a little bit stronger. Space Jam, you can count on them being consistent. In fact, the taste of the juice is up there is quite robust. Um, if you tried any of the five ponds juices, you'll know what I'm talking about. Robust flavors, very complex. Space Jam, the Venus is also one of those types of juices where it's really heavy on flavor and heavy on taste but it's also right now heavy on nick so i picked up some doc bailey's just some caramel 
just a soft caramel chew. I like labels that write exactly what the flavor is. So when you're looking for juice and you want to find out what it is, you can just look on the bottle. Genius idea. Not many people do that. They keep it mysterious. They want to promote their flavors and whatever. Fancy names. Understandable marketing, 100%. Doc Bailey's cut and dry caramel, soft caramel chew. It's just a caramel flavor, but since it's been steeping so long, it's kind of intense. Now, vaping this zero by itself, it's just missing something. That nicotine really helps out with carrying a lot of zero nick flavors, unless you have a really strong strawberry or a good unique flavor. I went with the Doc Bailey's because it's simple. I went with the Space Jam because it's complex. Now, the Space Jam has a really new logo. They've identified themselves, they've rebranded, and I think that's a good idea for Space Jam to do. Very genius idea. Um, rebranding your logo away from a cartoon style logo is probably the smartest move they can make to rebrand. I mean, it's real elegant. It's the, uh, it looks kind of like the original space, space, uh, space program. Their other logo was a little bit cartoony, and I don't know about Space Jam with like the Bugs Bunny basketball movie or what kind of uh, problems that they'll have to deal with eventually if they get big enough or maybe you have, uh, have to talk to them, whatever. I don't know how that's going to work out for them um, if the logo was conflicting. Um, I know... There's some other companies out there like Mr. Good Vape who really have a cartoon logo. Mr. Good Vape is going to be the Joe, the Joe cartoon, the Joe Camel of the industry. As far as I'm concerned, they're the only ones with the true cartoon logo left. So Space Jam props out to you for getting away from the cartoon logo because we all know how that ends up with the Camel logo. So uh, rebranding yourself, super awesome. I've always had love for Space Jam. Um, uh, this particular flavor, no, no exception. Um, what is Venus? Venus is a peanut butter with uh, marshmallow. I think there's a couple of other things in there from what I remember, um, but it's a really intense flavor. Now, mixing these two juices, don't hesitate to mix your juices, okay? A zero plus a six, if you know your math, if you don't, get out a calculator, add zero. Well, you can't really add zero to six. That's a bad example. Basically, you're going to want to cut it in half. You add a 0 to a 6, you'll get a 3. You add a 6 to a 12, you'll get somewhere in the middle of whatever that number is. Can't even think straight today. Anyways, 3 milligram. Um, sometimes I like it a little heavy, so I could either mix it in an extra bottle. You know, I got, I got bottles for days up here that you clean out and wash out. So I could mix Venus with the docks in here and carry this around. For me, it's just as easy as bringing two bottles throw it in the jacket pocket, I'm good to go. Now, I know I'm talking a lot, haven't really got to juice reviewing. Um, the Doc Bailey Caramel, since it's about a year, it's really heavy caramel. It's your standard. Um, but the Venus, very heavy. It's got the peanut butter and the marshmallow. So peanut butter, marshmallow, caramel, perfect for me. That's just the kind of vape I like. You take a quick draw and you get a lot of vapor. Uh, mixing these two together, I've revitalized this bottle of six that I would have never touched for a long while. Now I'm vaping it. Why? Because I'm making use of what I have. Both these flavors are good and when you get them, you're going to tell what I'm talking about. If you get both these flavors, if you have lying around, recuperate some new flavors that uh, you don't think will mix well together. Caramel, peanut butter, marshmallow, whatever else they got in here. It's just good stuff. Um, I've been vaping it today, all day. I've been switching off when it gets a little heavy on the nick. I put the Doc Bailey's in there. Uh, you know, 26 gauge Canthal on this Sigeli. It's really making me happy. Uh, as far as flavor notes go, you know, I, I can't tell you too much about it because they are, this one's pretty simple caramel, you know what caramel tastes like. When you mix it with the peanut butter and marshmallow though, it really adds a whole new angle to it. So uh, Doc Bailey's Elixir, I wouldn't mind trying your other flavors actually. Uh, I just wanted to bring a quick video, just an update of what I've been up to, just kind of a catch up. Uh, it's been my daily vape all day. I'm going to be rocking it out tonight, probably tomorrow too until I run out, that's how I do it. This is Chris Wicks. Uh, I don't know how much information you got out of this video, but I certainly had fun. Um, yeah, drill out those Addies. Don't forget to mix some juice. Make your own juice based upon what's already out there. Make your own flavors.